Did you ever play the NES version of this movie game? It was, frankly, horrible. There, you played as Eddie Valiant, and had to gather together pieces of Acme's will. The Game Boy version is entirely different. For one thing, you're controlling Roger Rabbit himself, and there's none of that ridiculous driving gimmick. A lot of the characters are there, and certain places and storyline events will be recognisable to anyone who's seen the film, but I'd say a good three quarters of the game is a bit different. Of course, Jessica would have to be kidnapped by the Weasels. It's a Game Boy game after all. You need to go see Eddie Valiant to help you find her again. There are lots of discrepancies between this game and the movie, but they're largely superficial. Baby Herman seems to be acting as Valiant's secretary. Marvin gets murdered right at the start of the story. Eddie Valiant doesn't take a single drink. There are a lot of differences. It doesn't really matter, though. The storyboard is plenty charming enough, with some delightful humour in the dialogue that you can really imagine being voiced by Bob Hoskins and whoever it was who did Roger's voice. The game plays out through six scenes, with a lot of storytelling throughout. This is possibly the largest text-to-game ratio that there's been so far, but it's all to the game's benefit. The whole thing takes place in a non-linear overworld that you can freely explore. You're wandering around LA, and Toontown, following clues given to you by various NPCs, looking for the next building to go in or weapon to find. The weapons from the movie are all there the extendable boxing glove thing, the toon gun, and so on. It does feel a little like you're aimlessly wandering around sometimes, but as with all games like this, when things seem a little cryptic, just try everything. Be wary that you have a health meter, though. Three hearts that are replenishable by finding carrots. Lose all your health, and you'll have to start again from the beginning of whatever scene you were on. Carrots are plentiful, but a lot of the screens in-game involve trying to sneak past weasels that patrol the streets, or pop out of manholes and the like. You can hide behind things, or duck using A. They're hardly intelligent, but then they weren't in the movie either. If you're lost and find yourself backtracking, though, you'll have to manoeuvre them each time you enter a screen, and can find your health dwindling pretty quickly if you're not careful. The music isn't taken from the movie that I can tell, and while it is a bit repetitive, it has a kind of film noir style that fits the time period. It's certainly a vast improvement on the five or six bars that repeated right the way through the NES game. Graphically, it's excellent, actually. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Quite the opposite. The gameplay is this title's biggest problem. To travel between two areas, you have to undergo a minute-long ride on the streetcar. Each time you want to go to or from Sunset Boulevard, you have to watch this whole journey. You can't skip it. For what is aspiring to be an adventure game, there's little rhyme or reason to any of the puzzle solutions. You basically just wander around until you put a certain peg in the right hole. For a first playthrough, this can be really frustrating and a little dull in all honesty. For a repeated playthrough, well, there's not a great deal of reason to play it again once you've beaten the game. If you buy this, I wouldn't consider it a waste of money, and if you're blessed with enough patience, then it wouldn't be a waste of time either. Who Framed Roger Rabbit isn't what I'd call a good game, though. It's better than that dip LJN put out, at least. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below, 
And if you can spare a second, give the review a quick thumbs up. It really helps out. Subscribe to the Portable Power Podcast for a new Game Boy review every day from Monday to Friday. Or, alternately, new episodes of the podcast drop every Saturday and Sunday on whichever platform you get your pods. See you later on.